You know, it was actor Michael J. Fox who said, family is not an important thing, it is everything. And my first guests couldn't agree more, even though they never actually grew up in the same household. They searched for answers to puzzling questions until they finally found each other and discovered the joy of loving a long lost family member. Now, after the death of her father, Janine Jackson learned something she never expected. And that discovery led her on a path that ended with the discovery of David Marin. A whole new chapter of their lives began as siblings. So please welcome to the show, Janine and her brother, David. Hi. Hi. How it, are you? <laughs> I am just amazed by this story, and I'm so glad you were willing to share it with mm. our viewers. I want to start with you, Janine. This started when uh, the man you believe to be your biological father passed away, and that right. was just a few years ago. Yeah, that was 2017. Tell me what happened from there. Uh, so my father passed away on 2017, and. Um, my uh, brother Jermaine and I really missed our father and said, you know what, um, we want to leave a legacy by building an online family tree. Mm. And we called all of our family around and they were getting information and we were pulling pictures together. Right. And then one day Jermaine says, guess what? I got a DNA test mm -hmm. and I found more family members. And I said, oh my gosh, that's so exciting. I'm going to take one too. Yeah. And so I, I bought my kid and, uh, you know, I took care of, you know, did everything that I was supposed to with the instructions and when the results came back I was really confused because I wasn't matching to him or some of the mm. other family members. What and did you instantly think as we look at these pictures of your beautiful family and, and childhood? Well, I, I thought that the kit was faulty or mm -hmm. I didn't thought work. I didn't, right. didn't work. I thought I thought it was <clears throat> quackery. Yeah. I, I I kept trying to call the number over and over and over this again. This doesn't make sense. It didn't they didn't answer. It didn't make sense to me at all. And it just never occurred to you that this was your surprise moment that this was not your biological father. No, I had no idea. So how did you find out uh, through family? Obviously you learned through the DNA, but how did the family explain this? Uh, well, the family, the family I know is my family, the Jackson family, they, they didn't explain it. I just kept seeing all of these different people matching up, you know, with my DNA, and I was thinking that maybe some of my family members had kids that nobody knew about. Mm -hmm. And so then that's when I started getting emails and texts literally within 24 hours from people that I didn't know. One of them was you, David, and I said, oh my gosh, I'm part of a scam. I told my husband, he was like, oh my gosh, you have compromised our home and our family. So I there's still no part of you that's like, this no. guy who's texting me is actually my brother. No, I thought I was part of some type of <laughs> You thought scam. you'd been hoodwinked. Yeah. Okay, I, I gotcha. did, I did, I did. Absolutely. Um, so at what point did you respond? Because I know that you get the emails, right? You get permission and you're like, I'd like to, I'd like to talk to you. Yes. Ooh. Well, it, I, I, as a, in my professional life, I'm a salesman. So I had to kind of be a salesman to her and say, oh. okay, don't hang up. Finally, I, I did a little background check online, got her cell phone number, called her oh. thinking oh. someone okay, else. That's something else we got to resolve. Uh, yeah. but uh, yes, I thought yes, someone yes, else yes, maybe yes. had already spoken to her. I didn't mm -hmm. realize how in the dark she was. And wow. hold on, let me cut you off. He didn't because... He's calling me, I can't believe, Janine, hello. And I'm like, how do you know my name? And he tells me, he buys this background report. And I'm like, oh my gosh, who are you? What are you doing? And we're talking and he goes, wait, you don't know you're adopted. That's what you said. That's, and I you said, wait, yes. what? I said, I'm so. not, I'm not adopted. And he goes, he tells me a story about Was his, that upsetting for you? Cause I, 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 my body just started shaking. I didn't, I didn't understand what was going on and why would he say and this? And you didn't even think that. I knew that she had grown up not knowing she was adopted, but I thought someone had already broken the news to her. So I thought I was one wow. of several people who had reached out to her. Surely she's already kind of warmed up to this idea and I was wrong. Oh boy. In addition to that, I, you know, sorry, but hmm. this is a white guy. And I'm like. <laughs> so the best part of it. Oh, so the first so time. The I, elephant in the room so said like, the big sister. Yes. Right, and I'm like, why is this white guy telling me about 
his dad and this little baby and and I, I said it sounds like you really miss her so I'm gonna help you find her oh my god and he gives me the adoption agency information which again I'm thinking wow they're paying a lot of money to scam me because yes. this is very sophisticated this is pretty yeah. sophisticated so you still there's still no. nothing about this no. and, and you're going back to the family and, and it's been 24 hours since the results come in so okay this has happened in literally one whole day wow yeah, we have an hour-long phone call early on and all i had ever had was one little baby picture of her from mm -hmm. you know a newborn mm -hmm. baby picture and we're talking and she's asking if i can send her that she's like surely i can you know i can figure out whether they're really scamming me or not and at one point she stopped and says david i've got one question for you are you white <laughs> <laughs> Why did you ask that? <laughs> I, I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember. It's such something a blur. You but this is the baby but, picture yes. that you held that, that on to that was in That's your family. That's the only evidence visually we had had of her. We, I grew up calling her Jennifer. I was told that that her first, her initial birth certificate, I think, had the name Jennifer on it. So we we called her Jennifer growing up. I knew about her. We celebrated her. We longed for the day when we'd be able to connect with her. I have two other uh, sisters who I was raised with, and so to me, this was my long lost sister that I was finally reconnecting with. For her. I was not, not her long lost brother. I said, I'm, I said, it really sounds like you really missed this baby, but I'm not her. Send me the information. He emails it to me that night and he sends me this picture. Mm -hmm. You've never seen this photograph. Nope. Yeah. But I stopped right in my tracks because, um, because I had never seen a newborn picture of myself. And um, I was confused because mm. I found Get out later that today. I was, um, I did find out later I was in foster care for a little bit. But I, I was like, what is happening? Why is he sending me this picture? And my youngest brother, it was in the wee hours of the night, I text him, I was like, is this me? And, I, and, and he was like, ha, ha, ha. It happened in April. In the beginning of April, he goes, ha, ha, ha. Funny April Fool's joke. Of course that's you. And I was like, whoa. What is happening? So, and that was the conversation you were having with the the brothers you knew to the be. The brothers that I knew to be my brothers. Brothers. The black yes. brothers in the, the family. The black brothers in my family. Got it. <laughs> right. So this, I imagine this is just overwhelming emotionally and then oh, you're that, starting that's, to that's realize. the world's greatest understatement. I mean, we were both, again, on that first phone call, I'm in tears. I'm begging her not to hang up saying, we, I've been waiting my entire life to meet you. Oh, if okay. you hang up and I can't connect with you anymore, I mean, I, again, I was... And I'm like, I'm not her. Yeah. I'm not her. And you're still insisting. Yes. No. Oh, I'm not goodness. her. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pause here because there's so much more mm. on the other side of sure. the family that I want our viewers to understand about what this was like for you and then the journey mm. that this has been for you. Thank you for sharing because I know that this is... it's. It's still relatively new. It is. Mm. So I appreciate the lesson that you're sharing and the journey and the blessings that you're sharing. Mm. All right. Thank you.